time now in the course to find some other mentors that'll help you learn about how schools really change. Uh, you've heard a lot thus far from Dr. Fullen, and he is our chief mentor in the course, but what about finding other people who can help you understand change? Um, so what you're looking for is probably mostly articles. It could be a great website, and it could be interviews with other people, not necessarily uh, somebody you'd be doing for the wise leader, just somebody that can help you understand the change process. That could be an administrator. That could be a business leader who helps you understand how change worked in his or her organization, and maybe even a pastor or somebody who leads a community organization. But you're trying to find other mentors who can help you understand how schools really change. So if you notice that I that I use the course essential question a couple of times in there. Keep your focus there, as always. And you're looking for any kind of resource that will help you find additional insight on answering the course EQ. The chief resource that I'm going to point you to is the journal Ed Leadership. You can get access to it as a UAB student through the Stern Library. There'll be more information online in the course about how to get there, but make sure you realize you can get to it. You should be able to get to it free without subscribing. You, if you're teaching, you may find hard copies of it in your school that you'd prefer to read there. But that's your chief resource, because when you start looking through the journal at Leadership, written by educational leaders to educational leaders, you're going to see them thinking a whole lot about how to make change really happen. So that's the place that I'm going to point you to. Some of the, some of the assignments are going to ask you to, to actually go to that journal and find some journal articles. Um, and you could probably spend all your time on the task related to finding change mentors just in that journal if you like it. But there's also going to be some latitude for you to make some other choices. Uh, the task will tell you exactly when that latitude is and what you have. Um, as far as when you can look for interviews or people who are posting on the web, blogs, um, Seth Godin, if you're familiar with Seth Godin. Um, but then you remember you're also always free to go to the virtual office and propose an alternative because I never want you bored. Uh, so perhaps you have read Ed Leadership a lot and reading more there would be in many ways a waste of your time because you're familiar with that. Well, let me know that. I don't want to waste your time and I want you always learning and always growing. So keep the EQ in mind and go and find some mentors who will help you answer that. So let me put it one last way, one last thing. Ever thought, you know, there's that book I wanted to read or there's that person I wanted to talk to or man, I really wish I could just read some because I like to read and I learn so much when I'm reading good stuff. Well, now you've got a good chunk of a course where I'm asking you to go and do that, to go read, think, and learn. I hope you're excited about that.